Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Thank you for being here. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw, though I'm on a little bit of a sabbatical for a few weeks, and I've asked one of my friends to fill in for the monthly horoscopes this month. I hope that you will welcome them. Of course, superstar horoscopes were pre-recorded, and you can go to NadiaShawSuperstars.com for as low as just $3 a month with Choose Your Membership Rate. You will have access to all signs each and every week. Extended horoscopes are available there. And of course, we have some incredible events coming up at Synchronicity University. Programs happening right now, but also choose your tuition rate as low as just $5 a class for classes that are coming up and starting in November. I hope that you'll join us. It'll be a great month. Enjoy. Hello, superstars, fabulous friends and fans of my dear friend, Nadia Shah. I am here to share with you what is in store for the sign of Sagittarius in this month of September. Let's begin. Dear Sagittarius, I am very happy to report that Jupiter, your ruling planet, is in your fifth house in the sign of Aries, in a retrogradation movement, because it's nearer from Earth and it's giving you a lot of enjoyment and good opportunities within luck, within your family or children relationships, with your sweethearts, and even with creativity. It is very important because it is ruled by Mars and Mars is already in your opposite sign, Gemini, and it will stay there for seven months. These months are very important for you to organize what you are planning to do in a partnership, either loving or business-wise. You have to keep on the move because you will be asked to work a lot. You have to think due to the placement of the sun in Virgo and the movement of Mercury, which this month of September the 9th will initiate its retrograde movement. From Libra, 8 degrees, it will go back to Virgo and ask you to think very seriously and thoroughly about what you want professionally. You have to acknowledge within yourself what has deterred you from being the professional you're capable of being. We all know you are creative, you imagine things, you have a wide range, a big scope of understanding of life, but for this time you are asked to be precise, to be attentive to detail, to investigate, to be serious, and also be willing to spend your time in your professional life. Your partners will ask you to do that. You will have to leave fantasy and inspiration and daydream at home. For now, everything depends on your ability to think seriously of what you really want as a success for a professional life. On the 10th, the full moon will be in Pisces, highlighting your home, your house, this will mean that you will be inspired by it, but don't let it be a distraction for you so you get lost in those ideas or dreams or fantasies. They are important because they inspire your creativity, but they cannot distract you from your compromise with your professional life. They are for you to remind you that you have to be kind and not to snap at people when you least expect it. So this conversation will go on deeply in the sense of your mind and compromise. Establish a plan, a professional plan. You can do it. So then find the partner that will help you develop and at least watch or at least support what you are planning to do every step of the way. This will be achieved in a seven month period. It will be very important because you are one of the signs that is most challenged by this transit of Mars. And this month and for the rest of the year, while Jupiter is in Aries, you'll have its support. So establish very well what you want now so you can keep on going the first months of the year. On the 16th, 
there is a beautiful trine between the Sun in Virgo and Uranus in Taurus. This will give you a professional surprise, maybe a new job, maybe a new plan or a new career, a new job surrounding. So be understanding about what you want and be prepared for the best. On the 25th, the new moon will be in Libra. It will be opposing your ruling planet in Aries. That means that the relationships will be again at the front and you will have to be very yes, serious, as I said, and professional, but also very polite, very diplomatic, very elegant in your dealings with the rest, especially with groups and associations. But also this transit, the Sun in Libra and its ruling planet Venus heading to a superior conjunction will inspire you to make grand things, to have an ideal circumstance and aspire to do what is amazing, something that will be of grand importance for you and for a lot of people. So be inspired, have trust in yourself, don't lose focus and organize your thinking. As for the square of Saturn and Uranus from your third to the sixth, it's very important that you do not overexpand at this moment. You have to be very focused. Although you are known, as I already mentioned, for your openness and the ability to handle a lot of information, now you are asked to center your thinking, to organize what your plans are and also your mind, of course. So you don't appear at work as random or erratic or not organized enough. You have to be strong in that sense and focus, yes, creative, just understanding and serious about work, but also refrain of being too hard, too squared, to be very close-minded. You are not as such. Don't confuse, and that will be the challenge, being focused with being close-minded. For those looking for a relationship, you will find not only one opportunity, but many opportunities to relate and enjoy a loving relationship. But it is within the frame I just explained. You have to focus more at this time on your career for you to have the success you want in it either by renewing it or finding a new job. It's, it's true that the new relationship is there, but don't let yourself to be distracted. Moreover, it has the potential to be a steady relationship. But again, it is ruled by your capacity to move, to speak the truth and be focused and serious about what you really want in life. As for those in established bond, you do have to work a lot between you two and also towards your own careers. Life is asking you to have compromise with the goals you have professionally wise and you can distract yourself, yes, give, giving time to have romantic escapades between yourself, but also be aware that there is, are a lot of opportunities for you now and somebody might appear out of the blue. So that is extra from your established bond. So be mindful for your relationship if you value it as such. For those already in established bond, the relationship between Mars and Jupiter will bring enjoyment and fun and opportunity of loving encounters between you two. Also, your careers are challenging you to compromises, serious compromises to be professional. So be on the lookout for times so you can enjoy and not jeopardizing your professional 
areas. What I love about this month for you, Sagittarius, is absolutely the position of Jupiter in your fifth house, enjoying, making you enjoy life, your children, and love, and especially giving you the trust in yourself that you need to have the success you want professionally. It will be a great month. Enjoy. Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring Choose Your Membership Rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there.